Opposition leader Belden Nama wants the Prime Minister to clarify if the news of him approving a 10.2 million kina funding towards a COVID-19 miracle drug is true or not. Explain to the people of this country whether this particular drug has been properly tested and experimented in a certified laboratory in our country or overseas, a credible certified laboratory. Nama says he is hoping and praying that this is false news, but if it is true, he fears PNG is being led by a cult leader. James Marape is the manifestation of a cargo cult leader in this country. Now we are announcing 10.2 million kina and telling the world that we have a miracle cure or vaccine for COVID-19. I'm afraid that Papua New Guinea will become a laughing stock globally. The opposition leader suggests investing such money in existing government medical institutions for research. We are putting so that kind of money into COVID since the beginning of this year. You just have to visit the hospitals. If the hospital beds are full with, uh, full with COVID-19 patients. That's why I've always questioned from the beginning. Are those declared COVID-19 uh, coronavirus pa uh, patients? Really coronavirus patients? Are those deaths claimed by the government, are they really from the cause of uh, COVID-19? The opposition leader has advised his lawyers and they are looking into the matter to file the matter in court. He wants to stay the drawdown of the 10.2 million kina until the matter challenging the pandemic act is dealt with. I am going to court to put a stop of the drawdown of this 10.2 million kina. Since I have filed a challenge on the pandemic act, I have instructed my lawyers today to go to court to put an immediate stay on the drawdown of that 10.2 million. Meanwhile, attempts by MTV News to get clarification from the Prime Minister have been unsuccessful. Nama's comment stems from newspaper headlines today and documents circulating on social media showing the Prime Minister's signature on an NEC submission paper for Treasury to provide 10.2 million kina towards procurement of COVID-19 drugs and testing and for a newly established company, New Guinea Biom Limited, to manage the funds and research. The NEC paper also indicated a discovery of a COVID-19 drug combination. Shamin Poreambeb, National MTV News.